Lesson four. Vajar, vajar. And here we see the transliteration um, with the w sound for the Babylonian. Vajar. Um, but in our synagogue, it's vajar. It's two syllables. And he saw. And he saw. The conjunction va with the dagesh forte, which is here, and you can see it here inside the yud. So forming with the yud a sharpened syllable. So the first syllable is closed. Vai, and then yar. It's not va yar, as a modern Israeli would say, but vai yar, with a y, y is going to both syllables. Vai yar. This letter y indicates the future tense. Yar, he will see. Yar. And the shava under the r is silent. And the aleph here has no force. It ha or. It ha or. Three syllables. It. Ha or short vowel, long vowel, long vowel. It ha or and the light. But it's actually just the light. And this here is telling us that it's uh, the object. Ha or it ha or it is an accented closed syllable normally when it stands by itself it but here because of this metag it's stuck onto here it's unaccented and it's an unaccented closed syllable and so the vowel is short. And so the e becomes e, as in the rule for closed syllables that don't have the accent, generally have a short vowel. It ha or. The article here is ha, as in ha aretz, ha aretz. Because here we have an alif. But note, ha in hash shamayim and ha in hamayim. And we'll look at the reasons for that later. The syllables themselves, the first syllable is closed, unaccented. The second syllable, ha, is open. This aleph here is functioning as a vowel. Ha. And the third, or, has the accent and it's closed with the r. Or. So, it. Ha. Or. Ki tob, ki tob, two syllables, ki tob, that good, three consonants, k, without a dot, this is g, and this difference is observed in the Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation, k, g, this is t, with the tongue touching further back in your mouth, not at the front like it normally does in English, but t. Um, if you were going to imitate certain pronunciations of English that you hear on the Indian Indian um, subcontinent, you will hear this t sound. Um, thank you very much. I'm going to school. T, t. It's a much darker sound because it's further back. T. Key 
tob, ki tob. So we have k and t. T is much sharp, a sharper, lighter sound near the front. Um, the tongue is touching the bit just at the where your teeth um, meet the palate. T, um, and here k, further back in your um, palate. And we have b in Spanish and Portuguese. It's always b. We have two um, vowels here, e and o. Ki tob, ki tob. Vai yab del, vai yab del. And he caused to divide. And here we see that Hebrew has something called the causative. Vai yab del. D is a new letter. We haven't seen this before. D. And it's always pronounced the same. D, whether with or without a dot. Although, of course, a dot can sometimes double it. The first syllable and the second syllables. Vai is unaccented and closed. Yab, unaccented and closed. And so they both have short vowels. The last is closed. It has the accent. And so the vowel is long. Del. Vai, yab, del. The schwa under the bet is silent because it's not functioning as a vowel but as a syllable divider. So, vai, yab, and this syllable ends on the b, yab, del. So, this here is not pronounced. Ben, ben, meaning between. This here is a final noon. The letter noon at the end of a word is written with a long tail because we have two forms of some of the Hebrew letters. We have a bent form here and a straight form. If you can imagine taking this bottom part and whipping it up and bending it up, you would have this little right angled backwards L here. Um, and that's the noon. So if it got all weak and limp, it would hang down. So the final noon is a limp noon. And the intermediate noon um, is one that's curled up. Here we have a, and they are both pronounced the same way. Although we don't obey this rule of pronunciation, it's not a for us, it's a. So, ben, ben. The vowel here is unchangeable not changeable. Ben. There is a dot here in the b because this letter starts off the word just as there was in the b of bereshit, bereshit, b here, bereshit. But in our Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation this bet with the dot at the beginning, um, even if it starts a word off without the dot, we still say b. U ben, u ben, and between. Now, we pronounce this b all the time. Um, in modern Hebrew, it would be u ven, and you can see it here indicated with the H after the B. And this here is pronounced u. Between by itself is ben, and and between is u ben. Ha ho shech, ha ho shech. The darkness. 
here the article is ha and there's no dagesh forte there's no dagesh in the hit and neither does it get lengthened to ha 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 choshech um, remember that the chet is the sound of an angry cat three syllables here ha cho shech ha short cho long vowel and shech short the accent of course is here so this is a closed unaccented syllable and so it has a short vowel ha cho shech note here that ha appears to be an unaccented open syllable with a short vowel so it looks ha ho shech here we have a table of the occurrence of aspirates in genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 4 now note that in our spanish and portuguese sephardic pronunciation there's some variations here this is a reconstructed ancient pronunciation which is not used by anyone except for a few Iraqis who have a pronunciation that's similar to it but uh, our pronunciation isn't like that so Bereshit Bereshit here it's B and T Bara Bara here it's B Eight Eight here it's T not aspirated. Hayata, Hayata. Here it's t, and it's not aspirated. Tohu, va bohu. No aspiration here. T and b. Tohu, va bohu. Ngal pene, ngal pene. The p here is not aspirated. No air goes through. Ngal pene. The home, the home, the t here is not aspirated. Merahefet, merahefet, the p here is aspirated. There's no dot in it. Merahefet, ki tob, ki tob, the b is hard, it's not aspirated. Ki tob, vay yabdel, vay yabdel. The B here is not aspirated in the Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation. Vayabdel. Ben. Ben. The B is not aspirated. Vayabdel. Up here. B. B. Uben. Choshech. Uben. Choshech. The B is not aspirated in the Spanish and Portuguese. So whenever a B occurs, it's always B, no matter whether it's got a dot or not. T is always T, whether it has a dot or not. So there are six letters which are called aspirates because in the reconstructed ancient pronunciation of Hebrew they have two sounds. But in modern Hebrew and in our Spanish and Portuguese Sephardic pronunciation, there are some differences. So it's B, B all the time for us. It's G, G all the time for us in London. Um, but in Amsterdam, there is a distinction between these two. D, D in London, all the time these are said the same. This is K and G, K and G, P and F, P and F, and these are T and T which in London uh, are pronounced the same, t and t. These letters receive this point whenever they do not immediately follow a vowel sound. So if they do not immediately follow a vowel sound, i.e. a vowel or a vocal schwa, 
which in our Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation is pronounced pretty much like a vowel. It's the E. Um, if there is no vowel or this short E sound, they get uh, pronounced as B, G, D, K, P, T. And we have in this lesson two new letters. We have T, which is pronounced like T, but not quite the same. T and T. And we have D. T, T, D. New vocabulary. Bin, bin, between. Bin. U, and. U. Vai yabdil. Vai yabdil. And he caused to divide. Vai yabdil. Vai yar. And he saw. Vai yar. Ki. That. Ki. Tob. Good. Tob. La kah. La kah. He took. La kah. Na tan. He gave. Na tan. Shame. Name. Shame. Note the root of Vayabdil is Badal. Badal. Divide. So that's the core um, group of letters that give us the meaning. And here it is here. B, D, L. The root of Vayar, Vayar is um, Ra'a, Ra'a, C, Ra'a. And the word shame means either name or name of. Shame. 